Knock, knock. knock. Hello. It's our two week visit, right? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So you're like a pound up from birth weight? Almost. Wow. So that is amazing weight gain. Is that exclusive vet breastfeeding? Yeah. Fantastic. What is the breastfeeding routine? Every two, three hours okay. during the day. Yeah. Both and sides each time? Both sides, yeah. Right. Both sides each time. And she's, I don't know, at night she kind of sleeps for maybe four or six hours. That's fine. Really for a while. Yeah. So I give advice once you've got good weight gain, uh, at night you can do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so then during the day, you know, she's going to maybe stack the feeds a little bit to make up for sleeping most of the night. Okay. So how... Whatever she wants, you whatever can do she... on demand. Okay. Is that what you're doing, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. So whenever she wakes up. Yeah. So the midwife re is really, really encouraging you to do the EKG. Because the midwife heard a murmur after birth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, so... Let, um, let me take a listen here. I'm going to try to set you down without upsetting you well let me listen yeah. usually we would refer okay if there's a murmur I'm not hearing it now you're not listening. yeah I don't hear it anymore which is what I expected There's no murmur at all. Really? Yeah. Okay. So when we were there on Thursday, though, she said she heard it really, really quietly. You don't hear it? I don't hear it. For our viewers, what we're talking about here is newborns can have murmurs. And some murmurs in newborns can be dangerous, although that's extraordinarily rare. The main dangerous murmur that newborns can have, and you've often seen me when I'm doing newborn exams, feeling for ephemeral pulse. So... Right here in the in the crease of the hips, I'm feeling the pulse. Let's see here. There it is. Wait a minute. Let's take this glove off. I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit. If you're having a hard time feeling ephemeral pulse, those of you who are doing these exams, you can listen for the heart rate. Then you know what rhythm you're supposed to be feeling for. So I'm barely feeling it, very weak. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, refer you just to play it safe. Okay. I think, um, you know, as I was doing the educational piece here for our viewers, uh, newborn murmurs that you don't wanna miss, one's called a coarctation of the aorta. Uh -huh. And in that instance, you don't feel strong femoral pulses. And uh, it, it probably is not that, but okay. it's something we sure. don't want to miss. Sure. Yeah. So most newborn murmurs are like PDA, patent ductus arteriosus, which is just a different circulation pattern that closes uh, sometime shortly after birth, typically. I know we're doing all this talking and we're ignoring you. I'm sorry. Sorry. I know. Here. I know. Yeah, you're just waiting for mom again. But we got a perfectly healthy kid here okay. uh, with just that history of the murmur, slightly weak pulses. We'll go ahead and get a cardiologist. They'll do an echo. Would you like an ultrasound? Okay. It doesn't hurt. I mean, I'm pretty sure they will. They, they might say, oh, don't worry about it, but chances are they'll do an echo. Okay. Uh, if you go to a cardiologist with a newborn or any, almost any child who has a murmur, they're going to do an echo. That, that's where they look at all the structural anatomy of the heart. They can see everything with that. Really? So they would be able to pick up absolutely everything. Wait, EKG or echo? Echo. If you go to a cardiologist, EKG won't pick up anything for this. Oh, really? Yeah. So, folks, big thumbs up. This little one is helping you guys understand a couple things. Heart exam, adorable child and mom. So, big thumbs up for them. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.